One of the most anticipated skin collaborations is finally here, the Attack on Titan collaboration. I personally was really excited when I heard that this collab was happening because this anime is one of my favorites of all time. Some didn't like the ending that much, but I think it was pretty fitting and made it even more special. Anyway, you're probably wondering how much diamonds I spent to get each of these Attack on Titan skins. I started with 33.7k diamonds and ended up with 23.8k so in total I spent 9,855 diamonds actually I was expecting to spend a lot more than that maybe I just got a bit lucky since my second draw I got Mikasa's skin anyway let's jump into the gameplay right away and since I just mentioned Mikasa it's only fitting that I start with her boyfriend Eren aka Ying You can use the first skill when there's 3 seconds remaining for the buff to spawn. Since their jungler went for the lethal, I was wondering if he used retribution for it. If he did, I will go invade his other buff, because I still have retribution. Put all your faith in me. Instead of taking this gold crap, I'm going to where their buff is, because I'm level 4 already. Oof, I even got the buff. I was planning to just keep clearing the jungle, but then I saw their die off kinda out of position. Does Yin get a Giga buff with this Eren skin? I was about to get my first core item, so I decided to just clear one more creep before going for Dyroth again. This constant gain should help our Ori lanes flourish. I needed somebody else to go first to tank the turret shot. This is when Eren decided to start the rumbling in this game. 
By the way, for those who didn't watch the anime and don't know what the rumbling is, an easy way to explain it will be Eren awakened all the titans that were asleep inside the walls and used them to destroy all humanity that was outside of his homeland. This way, he could save his peers from further persecution just because they were of titan descent. Nana cannot hide from Eren. I just noticed that they had a fluffy couple in this match, Harry and Anna. Eren is all about ganking whenever his all is available. They are all in the top lane, so I'm telling our monkey to keep pushing. I knew they were all coming me to defend, that's why I'm just gonna prioritize the turret. Our monkey was pushing the bot lane, which meant they were most likely gonna go there to defend it. Just like the anime, Eren is single handedly destroying all his opposition. Not gonna take the turtle because the Lord will spawn at 8 minutes. This daughter was probably tired of me already. Honestly, when I saw that they picked Valir, I thought he was gonna give me a lot of trouble. But probably he didn't watch my latest Valier's video about how he's using Kryptonite. <laughs> the game is not over yet though. Remember, they got the best marksman for combat, Ixia. Not really sure what Natalia really said, but I think she was calling Eren her daddy. Future. 
his main weakness. During his old casting animation, it can be cancelled by many skills. Ixia is the biggest threat, so I'm gonna try to go for her first, but with so many heroes with tons of CC skills around her, it's gonna be very tricky. Yup, Ixia is the biggest problem. It's too risky. Oh, now he has chosen death. Legendary. I need to find a good angle to catch their Ixia off guard. If I just head straight, their mage is gonna CC me to death. Ixia should still be walking back to her base. Not gonna lie, because I was using this king, I unconsciously was more focused and paying extra attention to different things. Also, it just felt that the hero was much stronger when Eren transformed into his titan form. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. See ya. Yeah.